Ragale is a town of almost 11,000 inhabitants of the province of Leche, distant from the capital about 54 kilometers and located 6 kilometers from the Ionian Sea, which overlooks the coastal resort of Torresuda, its fraction. Its original name was Heraclea, from Heraclius, a trusted freedman of the Emperor Caesar Augustus, who would have contributed to the birth of the small village of Ragley, marking the wolf breastfeeding the two twins, Romulus and Remus, as the emblem of the village. According to another interpretation, the ancient name derives from the hero in Greek myth Heracles, or Hercules. Therefore, Heraclea would testify this link with ancient Hellenic civilization and culture. A popular legend tells that when San Nicola Pilgrim arrived in the land of Ragale, its citizens did not recognize him and isolated him, believing that they were dealing with a foreign stranger. When they realized then that their children adored him and listened to his religious teachings, they finally drove him out of the country. From that moment on, the inhabitants of Ragley were nicknamed Lipacci, that is, the fools. The castle dates back to the 15th century and rises on a pre-existing Norman manor. It was originally four-sided and had four towers placed at the four corners. In the first half of the 16th century, the feudal family of the Ptolemies took care of restructuring the castle, softening it with a work of considerable restyling that eliminated the architectural elements closely related to the defensive functions. In the entrance square of the main facade, there is a large portal of Neapolitan origin, surmounted by the coat of arms of the Basurto family and dating back to the same period of renovation of the building, 1770. Initially, the atrium of the castle was much larger and was partly affected by the presence of the church of the village dedicated to St. George. It is very elegant and refined, embellished by semicircular arches sitting on single columns supported by square bases. Beyond the main entrance road to the historical centre, where until 1864 there was the Norman Porta Terra, there is the clock tower, which marks the hours and reminds Ragley's inhabitants through the bells tolling. The original tower dates back to 1123 the year of construction of the now inexistent urban walls. In 1535, the tower was transformed into a bear tower and was equipped with bear dating back to the 11th century. But the tragic earthquake of 1743 damaged the entire structure. It was then rebuilt, taking into account its original square shape which was maintained and resumed. Located on the other side of the street, a few meters from the clock tower and adjacent to the Holy Mother Church of Rackley, there is a bear tower also erected in 1123. 
Initially, it served as a watchtower and today represents the last part that still remains of the original structure of Porta Terra. Although initially it was not born as a bear tower and was much lower than the current sites, the tower was equipped with a bear designed to sound the alarm in times of danger. Destroyed by the first earthquake of 1395, which involved the entire territory of Salento, it was first rebuilt in 1408, as evidenced by a plaque, now corroded by time, placed above the last frame of the tower next to the symbol of the wolf. In the earth of the historic center of Racale, you can admire the Holy Mother Church of Santa Maria de Paradiso, erected on the remains of the previous structure, destroyed in the terrible earthquake of 1743. The church was rebuilt and completed in 1756 by Massa Domenico Saracino from Martano, and at the beginning of the 20th century, the considerable increase in population and the structural problems of the church once again required a substantial renovation work, which lasted from 1908 to 1912. Of the original building, there are still some friezes of the structure and also some Byzantine frescoes that embellish the side walls. The secrecy, which can be considered a small museum, is important from a cultural and historical point of view. It preserves Roman, Byzantine, Venetian coins found during restoration work and other objects that allow those who admire them to relieve an ancient past for a moment. Piazza San Sebastiano is the beating heart of the city and represents the most important social gathering point for Racle since ancient times. In the square there is a public fountain built in the early 20th century in full fascist region. The civic coat of arms of the municipality of Racle is depicted on it, with a she-wolf breastfeeding the two twins, Romulus and Remus, according to the typical Roman symbolism. The fountain embellishes the entire square and gives a nice feeling of freshness, very pleasant in hot, sunny days. A few steps from the historic center, in front of what was once Porta Terra, there is the beautiful Dipolito Palace. The building dates back to the late 19th century, although little is known of its birth and history. In 2012, the municipal administration provided for the building and social recovery of the palace, and two associations and a cooperative were identified, which today work in close cooperation through the co-use of the spaces and the co-planning of the activities. During the redevelopment phase of Palazzo di Polito, the municipal library was transferred to the two ground floor rooms. On the first floor of Palazzo di Polito is now set up the Museum of the Immigrant and a photographic themed exhibition. All the activities that take place today inside Palazzo di Polito have a strong connection with the historical center of Racale and are an important cultural engine. Moving away from the historic center, you reach the beautiful municipal park, recently renovated, called I Giardini del Sole. 
Its name is very suggestive, and well reflects the beauty of nature that in this small corner of paradise proliferates, thanks to the careful human action which has knowingly been able to enhance it. Today, I Giardini del Sole is a place created to offer its citizens public space where they can spend their free time and socialize in a small corner completely surrounded by nature among plants and flowers of the Mediterranean forest. The Casa Forte Menhir, once called Crocicchie, takes its name from a fiefdom in the territory of Taviano, where it was originally located when it was found and catalogued in the 19th century by Cosimo de Giorgi. Subsequently, this menhir was found by the researcher Pino de Nuzzo in the territory of Racle, a few meters from the outskirts of the village of Castelforte, an ancient rock settlement in Racle. Since then, the menhir was renamed Castelforte. It is thought that the menhirs had a specific ritual function in the past, and their confirmation suggests phallic symbology. Perhaps they were used during primitive symbolic rites for the fertilization of the Greek goddess, Mother Earth. The dormants are the second testimony of megalithism of Salento. In Bracale, there is a dormant specchi, also called Ospina, which unfortunately cannot be admired in its original splendor as it has been in ruins for some time. It is located at the bottom of the Collina degli Specchi, on the old country road that leads from Racle to Torre Suda, near the homonymous Masseria Ospina. The initial hypothesis of great charm saw the dormant as a sacrificial altar, but many scholars identify this megalith as a sort of prehistoric tomb. The third testimony of Salento's megalithism are the specchie, which are small hills of stones piled up in the highest points of the territory. Many researchers believe that the specchie were monumental tombs erected in honor of a leader or chief. For this reason, many specchie of Salento have been destroyed in order to unearth an hypothetical treasure covered by them. This was the so-called Acchiatura. Madonna dei Fiumi Church is a Byzantine church built on an ancient settlement of returning Greek monks. The Byzantine place of worship was entirely dug into the rock, and in 1611 a new structure was built on its ruins strongly decided by the arch-priest, Don Pompeo de Benedictis. According to historical evidence, the new church dedicated to the Virgin of Rivers was built to commemorate the memorable victory of the Salentinian people against the Turkish invaders in a battle of 1547, which was consumed in those places. In 1711, it was substantially restructured and enlarged at the same time a splendid hemispherical vault was created. It was enriched with large paintings and the fresco work was completed, which still today gives an enviable charm to the entire island. Typical coastal outpost, the Torre Suda Marina is an interesting urban complex for the architectural quality of the artifacts on site. Among these, of absolutely historical culture and architectural importance, there is a coastal tower called Torre Suda or Torre di Suda. 
it is thought that, at a certain point in local history, the siding tower ended its military function to be transformed, sailed and used as a water system for the inhabitants of the municipal fraction. As a consequence of the transpiration of the water incorporated in it, the towers seemed to sweat from the outer walls, hence the term Suda. Very suggestive is also the theory that the name Suda derives from Udo or water. However, it would not be the one that once was in the tower, but the mouth of a river that was once present in a coastal bay of Suda. Starting in 2012, a process of urban and territorial regeneration was started in the area adjacent to the coastal tower. This is how the Mediterranean Coastal Garden was born, which allows local visitors to practice outdoor sports and also has a playground for children. The whole coast of the tourist Suda Marina is rocky, mostly low and smooth, allowing easy access to the sea. The rocks of the cliffs are subject to the phenomenon of karst that over the years, with its incessant erosive action, has contributed to the formation of small caves that reverberate the emerald color of the crystalline backdrop. All this allows visitors to enjoy a splendid view, savoring the scent of saltiness while immersed in the vegetation of the cliff and the blue of the crystal clear sea.